crowning artistic uh, achievement because it contains years of his experience as a writer. I mean, it is an incredible action script. There's all sorts of things that happen. The plot always has a cliffhanger at some moment and a new start of something else. You've got people in disguise. You've got sword fights. You've got deaths. You've got betrayals. You've got poisonings. I mean, it's, it's it really playable and interesting on, a, on that level. And then on another level, he's really talking about what it is to be human and some of the problems that we face, trying to find out who we are and what's real and what's important. So in that way, it's got depth to it. And then it has elements of the classical tragedy. There are many, many roles in this have incredible weight and meat to them. When you say smaller characters, you've got to be careful. They're really, everybody in this is important. Even the people that play ensemble, I think we're going to double up. They're going to have a scene as one lord or, or one personage within the play, and then they may come back as a soldier, as a servant, as a gentleman, and all those people have lines. Some of them have sword fights. I mean, they, they've got specific, important things to do within the scene. I, I think what I want to say is that this play is not a tragedy. I, I started out reading it and thinking, okay, this is a tragedy. It's all about loss and betrayal. And then I started to really read inside of it, and then I started to get really excited. Because I think what this play is about is about find, stripping away all the illusions of your life, not taking lies, getting your ego out of the center, come crashing down and failing, and being born again. And I, that sounds like a religious phrase, but what I mean is being able to see the world with new eyes, understand what's really important, and go for it. It'd be important to try to have a sense of what the play is about so you know who the characters are. I think what the director always looks for most is vulnerability the ability to connect with what you're saying and let it affect you. And if it does affect you, the audience will be affected. I think when you're out there on stage, if they can live the play and really work off of each other and be able to say those lines and feel that they understand what they're saying and that the lines affect them as they're being said, I think that's a success for them because they will be smarter, better, bigger, and know more about themselves at the end. The audience, if that happens on stage, cannot help but see the joy and the excitement of the performers and be affected by it. And if they understand what they're saying, and if they like what they're doing, and if they give themselves fully to it, the audience will be able to move into that world with them mm -hmm. and understand more about what it is to be human. Thank mm -hmm. you.